class we were talking about symbiotic bacteria let me brush up what we have discussed in the previous class symbiotic bacteria are nothing but these are the bacteria which lives in close association with the other organisms and derive nutrition without harming the host and such type of bacteria are called as symbiotic bacteria we have taken up a very well known simple example that is nitrogen fixation bacteria which is present in the root nodules of leguminous plants that is we have taken an example as nostoc and the complete body of the nostoc is framed of numerous cells and in between that cells there is a presence of heterocyst cells which is helpful or which plays a very important role in generating the new cells and this looks like a beaded like structure and the complete body of the nostoc is covered and protected by the mucilaginous sheath and this nostoc and many other bacteria which are helpful in fixation of the nitrogen from the atmosphere they are present in the nodules of roots and these root nodule bacteria are helpful in fixing the atmospheric nitrogen to the plant body and also they are obtaining nutrition from the plant so they are helpful for plants as well as they are taking nutrition from the plant by this way these are helpful and also hence we are calling them as symbiotic bacteria and next we shall see another one that is mycoplasma what about this these are the organisms with smallest cell and their cell do not possess cell wall they do not consist of cell wall that is mycoplasma do not consist of cell wall and they are capable of surviving without the oxygen some of the bacteria require oxygen for their survival ends but these mycoplasma do not require the oxygen for their survival ends and they can also cause diseases in plants as well as in animals so we can say that these mycoplasma bacteria are harmful for both plants as well as animals next we shall see the next type of bacteria that is archaebacteria these are the very ancient bacteria ancient means these are the very old bacteria which are living in the environment since from decades or since from years ago and which can survive in extreme and harsh environment condition archaea bacteria are the bacteria which can survive in extreme conditions of the environment and harsh conditions of the environment and also their cell wall is specialized and make them to save serve in extreme condition why all type of bacteria cannot survive in extreme harsh conditions of the environment because that is based on the cell wall present in the bacteria but the bacteria which belongs or the archaea bacteria have a very specialized modified cell wall and those uh, specialized cell wall is helpful in making them to survive in the harsh conditions of the environment and by 
depending on the various harsh conditions these archaea bacteria are classified majorly into three types let me see one by one the first type of archaea bacteria is halophiles the second type is thermoacidophiles and the third one are methanogens three types of archaea bacteria and such as halophiles thermoacidophiles and methanogens first one that is halophiles these are the bacteria which can survive in extreme salty conditions or extreme salty areas uh, in extreme salt conditions means they may also survive in ocean and seas like this where there is extreme salt condition in deep ocean also they are capable of surviving and such type of bacteria which are capable of surviving in extreme salt condition such type of bacteria such type of archaea bacteria are called as halophiles the second type thermo acidophiles the name itself is telling thermo that is nothing but the extreme temperature they survive in the hot spring and also the acid habitats there these bacteria are survival and hence in high temperature that is hot springs we are telling they can survive in extreme hot condition they may also survive in the area where there is very high temperature and such type of bacteria are called as thermoacidophiles why we are using acido because they can also live they have the ability to live in the acid habitats and hence we have given the name or we are using the word thermoacidophiles and the third type of bacteria that is nothing but methanogens what about these methanogens they can survive in marshy areas and they are also found in the gut of chewing ruminant animals like cow and buffalo gut of ruminant animals chewing ruminant animals uh, like cow and buffalo in such type of animals gut that means in their digestive tract or in their intestinal tract we can find these methanogens and the point we noted here is the methanogens produces methane gas that is the methane gas is considered as the biogas and they are producing methane gas from the animals dung that means from their fecal matter that is from the waste of uh, fecal matter of these ruminant animals uh, like cow dung by using their dung these methanogens are producing the methane gas and methane gas is considered as the biogas and next the second type of archaea bacteria that is nothing but u bacteria next we are going to discuss about u bacteria u that means it says true bacteria how these are the true bacteria characterized by the presence of true cell wall and flagella in motile forms why we are considering them or why we are calling them as u bacteria u stands for true these u bacteria are also called as true bacteria these true bacteria are characterized by the presence of cell wall true cell wall is present and also they possess the flagella for their locomotion and hence because of the true cell wall because of the 
presence of true cell wall in the bacteria we are considering them as the eubacteria the third type is cyanobacteria what are these these cyanobacteria are commonly called as blue green algae they are photosynthetic autotrophs blue green name itself is telling if it is green definitely we can consider or we can guess that they consist of chlorophyll pigment or chloroplast and hence they are capable of photosynthetic autotrophs photosynthetic means by using the light photo means light synthetic autotrophs autotrophs means they are the bacteria or the organisms which are capable of producing the their own food or manufacture their own food by using the raw materials as well as the sunlight such organisms are called as autotrophs what about these cyanobacteria these bacteria are photosynthetic autotrophs they are producing their food by the help of light and they are synthesizing their food and hence we are calling them as photosynthetic autotrophs they have chlorophyll a as in green plants they are fresh water or they may also present in marine form and also they are found in the terrestrial region or they are also terrestrial form they often forms blooms in the polluted water bodies we shall repeat cyanobacteria or the blue green algae are photosynthetic autotrophs that means they are synthesizing manufacturing their food by the help of sunlight hence we are considering them as autotrophs and they are having chlorophyll a as in green plants chlorophyll a it's nothing but a pigment that is present in them like a green plants and they where they are found they are found in fresh water marine water as well as they are found in the land or the terrestrial form and they often forms blooms in the polluted water bodies blooms means nothing but these blue green algae will multiply rapidly in the polluted waters and it will completely cover, cover the surface of the water body that we consider or call as the blooms of the blue green algae next their colony is covered by gelatinous sheet sheath and their base specialized cell called heterocyst in the previous nostoc itself we saw the complete um, the chain of those uh, nostoc was covered by the gelatinous covering like that that is their their colony is covered by gelatinous sheath means what usually always these cyanobacteria are living in a colony they are living in group and they are protected and completely covered by the gelatinous sheath they bear specialized cells they possess or they have specialized cells which are called as heterocyst even we saw the heterocyst structure in the previous slide the heterocyst have nitrogenous enzymes which helps in the fixation of the atmospheric nitrogen so what is the major function of this heterocyst this heterocyst cell is modified in such a way and consist of nitrogenase enzyme nitrogenase enzyme and by the help of that enzyme these bacteria are helpful in 
fixing of the atmospheric nitrogen to the plant body also if they are present in the plant uh, that is in the root nodules they are helpful in fixing the atmospheric nitrogen so like this they are helpful in fixing the atmospheric nitrogen example nostoc and anabina we saw the structure of nostoc in the previous slide and next reproduction in bacteria how do they reproduce how the reproduction takes place in bacteria the bacteria reproduces sexually or asexually they reproduce by both the methods of reproduction they reproduce both by sexual method as well as by the asexual method asexual reproduction mainly by the fission during unfavorable condition bacteria produces the spores how do the asexual reproduction takes place is by the method of fission that means a bacterial cell will undergo breakdown or the fission uh, will takes place during when during unfavorable condition which is not a good condition for the bacteria or during unfavorable not favorable condition and bacteria what do they do they start producing the spores and bacteria also exhibit a primitive sexual reproduction we cannot see a very advanced type of sexual reproduction instead we can see the primitive sexual reproduction in bacteria in which in which have the transfer of dna from one bacterium to another let us see the word bacterium that means here from the parental bacteria and another uh, daughter bacteria is formed by the transferring of the genetic material that is the dna from one bacterium to the another and by this primitive way these bacteria are showing the sexual type of reproduction let me conclude that is during asexual type of reproduction in bacteria they reproduce by the fission and they start producing the spores and those spores will develop into each single bacterial organism when the favorable conditions will attain that is about the asexual type of reproduction but how the sexual type of reproduction takes place is the very primitive sexual reproduction occurs or takes place in bacteria by transfer of dna from one bacterium to the another this is how they sexually reproduce next we are going to start with the kingdom protista